Hi, I'm Kate O'Hearn, author of the Pegasus series, Shadow of the Dragon, Valkyrie, and Titans. I'd like to talk to you today about a brand new series that's just getting ready to come out called Atlantis. Book one, Escape from Atlantis, covers the story of two cousins, Alfie and Riley, as they get shipwrecked on the mysterious island Atlantis. But not everything is as they expected, because it's not just a deserted island. There are people there, but the people have a secret. When I was a kid, I heard the legend of Atlantis and I thought that was really intriguing and I've always loved the Bermuda Triangle. So I put the two together. Atlantis is in the Bermuda Triangle. And so my mind just started going crazy. Now, one of my favorite books was The Island of Dr. Moreau. And I always thought, what happens if we did a reversal of The Island of Dr. Moreau? Whereas I am not having animals turn into people, but people turn into animals. So what we're doing today is, this is from the actual manuscript. The book doesn't exist yet, the manuscript does. I'd like to read an extract from the opening. This is a scene where Riley and Alfie, Riley's dad and Alfie's mother, are on a tour. They're looking in the, they're in the Bermuda area and they're looking for humpback whales. The father is a marine biologist. And what happens when a sudden storm comes upon them? The storm is ferocious, the waves are everywhere, the clouds are scudding. But more than that, there's a monster in the water. So here we go. This is an extract from Escape from Atlantis. Just then they heard the thunderous sound of something smacking the side of the boat before everything turned sideways. Riley and Alfie were thrown to the floor as the boat rolled heavily and then righted itself again. What was that? Riley cried. I think we hit something. Alfie climbed unsteadily to his feet and rubbed his elbow. Ow, I hurt my arm. This is bad, Riley said. Really, really bad. The boat was struck again, knocking it on its side. Riley and Alfie were once again thrown violently over. This time, the sailboat didn't right itself, and water poured down the steps from above. We're sinking, Alfie cried. We'll be fine, Riley said, not feeling anywhere near as confident as she forced herself to sound. Just stay with me. Riley, Alfie, are you okay? Can you hear me? Dad, Riley cried. She looked back to the steps and saw her father's arm reaching down. What's happening? Something big just hit us and we're capsizing. Get out of there. Andrew, it's coming back. Mary shouted from above. Hold on. Another violent strike knocked the boat, followed by a rush of water that nearly washed her father away. Move it, he shouted. Riley Al and Alfie crawled on their hands and knees along the flooded passage. They could no longer stand up as the sidewall of the passage was now the floor beneath them. They crawled over the emergency cupboard to the stairs. Is it a whale? Riley cried. I don't think so. It's too big. Her father was leaning down and reaching for them. Hold on to me to climb out. Just as Riley was reaching for his arm, Mary screamed, hang on. The boat was struck again, this time from the other side. The blow was so powerful, the event horizon righted again. Tossed around like rag dolls, Riley and Alfie made it to their feet and ran towards the steps, just as another scream came from above. This was followed by an explosive crash. Climbing up into the ferocious storm, Riley gasped. The sky was black and the rain blew in all directions as the wind howled like an enraged animal. The tallest mast was broken and lying along the deck. Her father moved away from the steps and started edging along it. Moment later, he struggled back. Come on, we have to abandon ship. Why, Alfie called. The boat's still floating. Riley's father shook his head. Not for long. The mast damaged the bow. We're taking on a lot of water. We're sinking? Riley cried. Yes, now come on. We have to inflate the rife raft and get out of here before it's too late. But, but, but dad, what about that thing in the water? Riley asked. The words were just out of her mouth when Mary screamed and pointed towards the front of the boat. Riley added her own scream when she saw the dark head of something, some kind of massive snake-like sea serpent rising out of the water and smashing against the front end of the boat. Its long, scaled body coiled completely around the event horizon like a constricting snake around its prey. The boat cracked and broke like an eggshell as the sea serpent tightened its grip and crushed their sailboat. What is that? Riley shouted. It's a sea monster, Alfie yelled. Whatever it is, it's sinking us, Riley's father cried. We have to get to the life raft. They huddled closely together and moved towards the stern of the ship. With each passing moment, the event horizon groaned and creaked 
as the monster crushed it. Riley looked back and saw more of the dark creature climbing out onto the bow and pulling it down, pulling down the rear of the boat. They reached the inflatable raft and Riley's father and aunt struggled to free it from its cradle and tossed it into the water. Pulling the line on the inflation handle, the six person raft burst to life. But just as they were preparing to climb in, Alfie screamed, look! Everyone looked up and gasped. The sea monster was raising itself out of the water and climbing high above the ship. It roared once, then opened its mouth even wider and struck like a viper, biting the front end off the boat. That's just a teaser of what's to come with Escape from Atlantis. This will be a three book series and I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you.